This question is about the R cos theta plus alpha method and using that to find maximum and minima and solve equations. Let's do part A. We are asked to express 7 cos x subtract 24 sine x in the form R cos x plus alpha, R bigger than 0, alpha between 0 and pi by 2. Give your value of alpha to three decimal places. Very straightforward three marks. Write down what you're trying to express. You're trying to express 7 cos subtract 24 sine x. And you're trying to express it in the form r cos x plus alpha. Okay, so what you do is you use your formula booklet to expand the following. Um, in the formula booklet you have the expansion of the addition formula cos a plus b and you just multiply that all by r, so that would be equal to r cos x cos alpha subtract r sine x sine alpha. And remember, this is equal to 7 cos x subtract 24 sine x. Now you just equate um, coefficients. Let's deal with cos x here. 7 must be equal to r cos alpha, so it's important you get that the right way around. So 7 must equal r cos alpha. And in a similar ma uh, manner, 24 must be equal to r sine alpha. So 24 must equal r sine alpha, equating sine x's. Now, it's always the same with these. R is therefore the square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared, and that gives you that R is equal to 25. Okay, and if we call these equations 1 and equation 2, if we take equation 2 and divide it by equation 1, make sure you get this the right way around, you would get yourself that tan alpha is 24 over 7. So alpha is the inverse tan of 24 over 7, Make sure your calculator is in radians mode before you do that. And if you do, inverse tan of 24 divided by 7, you get yourself at 1.287. So alpha is equal to 1.287 radians. So expressing uh, this in that form, therefore, we would have 25 cos x plus 1.287 and un underline your answer. There you go. Okay, now part B says hence, and very important hence, write down the minimum value of this expression. Now we've just shown that 7 cos x subtract 24 sin x, uh, sin x is the same thing as 25 cos of x plus 1.287, 1 1.287 radians. Now, what's the minimum value of this? Well, the minimum value of this must be the minimum value of this. Now, cos, what's the minimum cos can ever be? Well, it's negative 1. So the minimum this can ever be is simply negative 25, and it's simple as that. Now, it doesn't ask you the x value that makes that happen, so you don't have to solve it. It just asks the minimum value. That's why it's one mark. Students, a lot of students get confused and try and solve this and make it equal zero and all sorts. No, cos minimum value is negative one. So 25 cos of something, its minimum value is negative 25. And part C, solve between zero and two pi, this equation is equal to 10. Give your answer to 2dp. Now, obviously, instead of solving this is equal to 10, which is difficult because there's causes and the signs, we're going to solve 25 cos of x plus 1.287. 1.287 is equal to 10. Okay, now divide both sides by the 25 in front of this cause, so we would get cos of x plus 1.287 is equal to 10 divided by cos, 10 divided by 25. And therefore, x plus 1.287 must be the inverse cos of 10 over 25. And keeping your calculator in radians, the inverse cos of 10 over 25 
that's equal to 1.159 radians. So x plus 1.287 will equal this. Now, we want solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Currently, if we subtract 1.287 off this, we'll get a negative answer. That's not one of the solutions we want. So at this stage, let's draw our graph out. Now, because uh, we're solving x plus 1.287, uh, cos of x plus 1.287, let's extend our range from 0 to 2 pi plus this. So the cos graph looks something like this. That would be pi by 2. That would be pi. That would be 3 pi by 2. This would be 2 pi here. Let's just extend our graph down to um, <clears throat> 5 pi by 2, let's say. Okay, because that will certainly, any solution within there should come back to within 0 to 2 pi when we subtract this off it. So 1.159 is one of our solutions. Now that's less than pi by 2, so there's somewhere here. So here's one of our solutions here. Now where are the other ones? Well, there'll be one here, and there'll be one here. So what will our other solutions be? Well, here we have 1.159 from the tip. So here we're going to be back 1.159 from the tip and forward 1.159. So our solution would be 2 pi subtract 1.159, which is equal to 5.124. And the other one would be 2 pi plus 1.159, which would be 7.442. All of these in radians. So if we subtract the 1.287 off, we would get ourselves that x is equal to, for this one, uh, for this one here, we would get 3.837, and for this one here, we would get, and we were going to 2dp, let's not forget, so 3.84, and for this one here, we would get ourselves 6.16 radians. And we're done. They are our answers for five marks.